Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? Now tonight I'm going to read you a story called Where the Wild Things Are, which is an amazing story. Bowie and Dougie love it. And maybe I may have read it to Grace and Lola. I'm not so sure, but it's such a fantastic story. So, are you settled? Are you sitting down comfortably? Or maybe you're lying down underneath the duvet, all snuggled up next to mommy and daddy in bed. And Yala, make sure you're all nice and cosy and listen to this story because this is a cracker. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Fuck. Imagine that for a room. That'd need some watering, wouldn't it? Hey? Eh? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. So Max said, be still and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. That's why I'm wearing the crown because I'm the king of the story tonight. Why don't you ask your mum if they remember this crown? They'll probably know where this comes from. And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. So they jumped up and down in front of the full moon, all dancing and enjoying themselves. They swung through trees one by one with big smiles on their face, showing their fangs. And he climbed on one of their backs and he was carried through the forest like a king of the wild things. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild thing roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day, and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. What a great book. I love that book. Using your imagination. Now listen, everyone. Close your eyes a few seconds everybody close your eyes even the parents just close your eyes think of something you did today whether you were walking to the park or walking down the road maybe you was holding your mummy and daddy's hand and be thankful for it or maybe you were snuggled up on the sofa watching your favourite TV programme with maybe a bowl of crisps or a bit of chocolate Mm. and be thankful for it. Be thankful for everything you've got, regardless of these times. Okay, 
now you can open your eyes. Now listen, I've got another job for you. Because Max sailed off on his boat to where the wild things were. What I want you to do if you can, if you've got any old cardboard or any recycling, why do you make a boat? Why do you make a boat and imagine that you're sailing off to where the wild things are? And I don't mean a boat with a bedroom in it. I mean a little boat that might float in the bath and just use your imagination like Max did, okay? I just want to remind you that there's another story on Monday, okay? So please remember to tune in. I really hope you have a beautiful sleep and have a nice dream. Good night, everyone.